Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to part two of our new big highway. So check out the last episode which focused on going up through the mountains there. You can see part of it at the top of the screen there. So in this episode we're going to focus on actually connecting the new highway to the existing highway and making a huge highway interchange. And it's also going to have intersections as well. There's going to be a lot in this area. So yeah, a lot to do. It's a longer episode today. It is going to be a big change for the area, but um, I do like how it turns out. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I do have my fan on in the background. So if you, if you can hear it clicking or something, please try to ignore that. It's just the fan because it's like super hot here tonight. Now, anyway, obviously this is going to be a port area. So we want to make it connect up to the port as well. We also have this road here which will feed into the port going from the capital Beersheba. So this is going to be a new road which will kind of go past this big, um, these warehouses here and then it'll curve left into the port area and it'll just be another way for trucks to get from the port into the city instead of them just relying on the highway to get to the city. Um, I did move a couple of the facilities from the oil area there. We needed that space to get the new highway to go through there, but all of the facilities are still there. They just slightly moved over. We also have to think that since this is going to be a port area as well, there's going to be a lot of truck traffic. So we do need wide roads everywhere. We need lots of connections everywhere. Uh, you'll notice I well, we, we've gone past it now, but you'll notice that I elevated the highway going through there. So that'll allow us to put more roads underneath if we need to, just instead of having the highway segregating the area. By elevating the highway, it allows us to build straight under and easy. Now this part here, well, what I was doing there with the tunnel, I'm a bit slow today. Uh, what I was doing was changing the road type. So the road that I use throughout the mountainous area, it's this one here, which actually has four lanes built into it. Whereas usually you would have to put the highway like this, where it's a single lane, then you'd have to put the one going the other way. So the connection between this road versus the other road, it's a little bit odd. I tested it off camera. It looks, it looks ugly, to be honest. It doesn't look appealing. It just looks unnatural. So I put it into a tunnel just to hide the fact that the road changes. That's the only reason why. Otherwise, I would have just left it there. But yeah, uh, I do that a lot just because I really don't like how we connect it like this. It just, I don't know. I feel like it could have, they could have made it look better or it's never easy to do. It always looks slightly out of place. So putting it in a tunnel just hides the yuckiness and it also helps blend in the curved elevating highway at the back there as well. So the original highway would have gone straight ahead, straight through from left to right. But now the highway will continue left and go up through the mountain. So what we're doing here, first of all, is creating the ramps that will connect up to where the old highway used to be. So these roads on the left side will feed in and out of the capital Beersheba. Um, but a lot of the traffic is now going to be directed away from the capital, which is why we can get away with not having to put in extra large lanes to the right, because like I said, we don't have as much traffic going through there anymore. So it's just going to be mostly single lanes coming off and on to the highway that connect into Beersheba. But the main focus is to just get the traffic through all of this area on the highway without any interference. One other thing that I will do throughout this video is instead of just making, for example, one entrance into the port, there's going to be two or three different entrances. Same with exits leaving the port, there's going to be two or three different entrances as well. Uh, there's going to be some that feed directly into the border crossing area. So instead of them getting back onto the highway, then going into the border crossing, it'll just go directly in there. So that'll just save them time instead of going onto the highway, mixing in with that traffic. Usually I would do a lot of roundabouts, but I thought let's do something different and I want it to be a little bit more compact. So the ramps coming off the highway going into the main roads 
we're actually just going to use traffic lights and that's something that I wanted to do is in the future we can manage the traffic lights, make it really flow, make all the traffic lights connect up, make sure they're synchronized and um, I'm looking forward to doing that one. Now this one, it'll come off here. This is one of the exits, so it'll come off and then it'll split into two lanes, which I'll show you guys later on. One lane will come over here, which will feed into Burr Shiva and the other one will break off and go onto the ground boulevard right there. And then this one here comes off the highway from the border crossing and will go into the Bersheva new highway. We'll also, actually, I don't know if I make an exit from there. Oh yes, they do have an exit. If they want to go from the border crossing to Bersheva, they do have a, an exit, but I just haven't done it yet. Ooh, I was kind of worried then. I thought I missed one. I, I, you know what? I probably have missed some. Please let me know if I have, but... I, I tried to think, I try, I do like a little experiments in my head, for example, if I was going from point A to B, I think, okay, could I actually get there, and is it easy? Um, so I think most of them I did get right, hopefully it all works properly, actually, yeah, it does work properly, but who knows, maybe I did forget a few at the end. Like I was saying earlier, there's going to be highway connections that go directly onto the main road into a traffic light. So this one comes off the road on a single lane, then breaks into two lanes. So one lane will go straight ahead, connecting into Bersheva. The other lane here then breaks into two lanes and will go down onto the main road. Um, they can use this if they want to go into the port area. They can use it if they just want to go onto the main road for whatever reason. It's just good to have like have it like that instead of just one option for them to go from point A to B. Have a few different options in different places, uh, and then it'll take off a lot of stress, traffic traffic stress, congestion stress for that one area. So have different connections all over. It's going to make a big difference. This one over here is also going to be another connection directly from the main highway. Um, the I made the the road. Let's just call it a boulevard. It's a cement boulevard. Uh, it's slightly below the terrain level. It will go underneath, and underneath will be the traffic light connection. And both of the connections will go into one point. Uh, that'll be an interesting part I have to manage with the traffic lights because it is two lots of traffic merging into the one spot. I do make a, well, you know how, see how there, the trucks have that extra lane on the outside. That's where all the trucks are anyway. I thought to myself, well, why not use, why not make a s specific lane that is just for trucks to exit off the highway? So this lane that I'm just building off now, like I said, it's only trucks. Uh, so then they'll come off and go directly into the port area and that'll actually be really useful It's kind of separating the truck traffic versus the other traffic a lot of the trucks will come directly into here And we can give them a bit more priority on the traffic light down here And then just right ahead at the top of the screen you can see there's another little off-ramp there That's also another one going into the port area, but it's just at a different spot. So Different, like I said before, we have lots of different connections all over the place and it just really, really helps spread all of the traffic out, especially in the port area. It's really, it's really useful to spread it out because you know how ports can be when the ship comes in, all these trucks appear. We're also going to have the, um, it's not going to be just the, did I say cruise ship before? Anyway, it's not going to be just the um, cargo ship coming in. It's also going to be the one that has the train on it. So even more tra traffic in there. Hopefully the train will take away some of that traffic, but who knows, we're just gonna prepare for all of that anyway.
The way that I like doing exit ramps, and this is what I found works very well in the game, but also in real life it's very common. Uh, instead of doing like two exit lanes, I usually just, just do one single exit lane. And then if we look right here what I've done, it becomes, what's that, two lanes. So instead of doing two lanes directly off the highway, that can be a little bit hard to manage sometimes. It can be chaotic. So bring them off on one lane and then that one lane can split into two, three lanes, whatever you need for that specific area. I have a feeling I will probably need to update this one into three or even four lanes because like, like I said, a lot of traffic coming in and they have the option of going left or right. So if we have two lanes, if we have four lanes, sorry, the two left lanes can be for going left. The other two right lanes can be for going right. And it, and it allows a lot more traffic to wait in that space instead of them backing up onto the highway, because that's a huge issue in this game. Traffic will back up onto the highway. Then all of the highway traffic will get congested congested it's all going to be really slow so having them like this where it breaks off into one lane then splits into two lanes three lanes four lanes it just saves a lot more space trust me on this um i remember doing city fixes and seeing that like all the time one little issue like with the traffic lights where they just didn't have enough lanes waiting waiting lanes and then suddenly there was a huge line leading onto the highway and then suddenly the whole city stopped and then your city's losing money so try it like this see how you go but it does work pretty well for my city This sneaky little lane here, this is going to be one of our exit lanes and it is going to be a single lane like I've been doing a lot, but the thing that I've like, I like that I've done about this is that there'll be two exits from this lane. The first exit will go directly onto the highway and I admit it, maybe it's not the best design, but hopefully it'll work. If not, we'll have to try something else in the future. The first exit lane will be just for everything except trucks so they can just go straight onto the highway easy done whatever and then the lane actually continues on and it'll go directly into the truck lane in the border crossing because my border crossings the outer lanes are just for trucks anyway so so this is our first little lane here and then it'll continue up up up, up to the top and then and it just saves congestion uh, instead of trucks going on to, onto this spot, mixing in with existing traffic, uh, they can just go directly into the toll, I was going to say toll booth, the border crossing, because that's where they're going to go anyway. Uh, and it's going to be a lot faster for them by doing it that way. Thank you. 
All right, just to finish up, we're gonna do some little lane markings, which I think is a really important thing to do. Also, connecting up all of the lanes. I don't think I'll show you guys me doing every single lane connection and every single line marking, because once you've seen a couple, I mean, you've kind of seen it all. You, you know, you guys know how it goes. Um, but yeah, I won't show you guys all of it. But it is, I do really like putting it on there. I like sh I like making sure that all of, all of the lanes are connected properly. Um, I like to make sure that there's no weird crossing at uh, intersections because that's a big issue as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, we will, I'll give you guys a really good look at everything because in the last video, I didn't show anything about the new highway with traffic on it because it wasn't connected. Uh, so I show pretty much the whole length of our new highway build starting right back at the tunnel right back at the other end all the way down to our border crossing it's like a two or three minutes uh, preview of everything at the end I give you guys a really good look at it and I have to admit it is very satisfying this point here just quickly I don't like I saw it goes from four lanes down into two lanes I admit I was lazy there I don't know why I did that so please ignore that. But um, when I was looking at the footage, it didn't have any issues there, how it goes from four lanes into two lanes. So I don't know, it must be, it must be all right, but please ignore that one. But yeah, other than that, not too much else I can say. Um, obviously I've sped up parts of the end footage, so it's not the real speed that you'll see. So if it, if it looks a bit weird, you know why. And that is pretty much it now. I don't know if in the next video I will do the port area, but I do definitely want to do the port area soon because our whole region is pretty established, but we don't even have a proper port area yet. So I want to do, I really want to get that one, I really do want to get that one up and going as soon as possible. Um, but I can't say whether or not we'll do that next, but anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed as usual. If there's any other suggestions. Um, let me know. Instagram's linked down below if you want to check that out or have a chat. Always there. Hope you guys enjoy the end footage and I'll catch you guys next time.